What's up guys? Welcome to the first episode of the new name change Ace High Outdoors. We're back over here at the uh, starting pen, the puppy pen. Uh, I've got a five month old pup. He's been in here a few days already. Uh, he's starting to get the hang of it. He's still got to figure out how to straighten out a track. Sometimes, you know, he gets turned around. He, start, he has to uh, make his little circles before he figures out which direction that rabbits really went but he's five months old he's actually a oak hill bred top and bottom so he's a, he's a real nice looking dog um, uh, he, he's been in here probably three days uh, this is probably this is going to be his fourth time in the in the pen he, he knows enough now to where he knows what he's looking for he's just got to figure out how to stay on top of it so uh, I'm going to show you a little bit about how he's doing he's already in here looking around so we're gonna get after it so what I've got here inside the inside the pen is I've got a I dug a hole and set a little kiddie pool down into the ground ground level and uh, let it fill it with rainwater that way the rabbits and the puppies that have uh, uh, so water for when it gets real hot and then I took four cinder blocks and a truck bed cover and I have tied the corners of the truck bed cover down to give these rabbits uh, somewhere to get in out of the rain and it actually provides pretty good cover when the rabbit's been run real hard he's actually able to go up under here and come out the other side which allows him to get away from the dog momentarily to get kind of a break and catch his breath uh, and maybe you'll see that here in a few minutes when we get one up and going but uh, they use that a lot to run up under because most of the time the dog won't actually go up under the uh, cover he'll just sniff around try to figure out where he went and go around to the other side of it and uh, sometimes you know they will they'll they'll track up under it but right now as early stages of his training he hasn't figured out to, just to keep going yet he's still kind of figuring things out but as you can see he's over here sniffing around trying to get one going and then that, that's a pretty good hunt for a five month old who ain't been in here but three or four days. Might not be able to hear him very well. He's actually got one up and going. It's got the other dogs in the kennel excited. They'll settle down here in a few minutes. They figure out they can't get out. Nope. Sight chase. See what I mean about going up under the truck bed right there? That rabbit must have come out the other side when I wasn't looking. He just pushed one out of there.
Once again, that rabbit used that truck bed to break up that track. He actually just went right back up under there. I just seen him. Rabbits are smart. Comes back. Hmm, right there on top of him. But that right there shows he's he's using his nose more than his eyes because he about stepped on that rabbit before he jumped up and ran, which is a good thing. I would rather him use his nose than his eyes. We want him to trust that nose, learn how to trust it. The first couple of days when you put these puppies in these pens like this, it's a lot of sight chasing relying on eyes or just running around trying to get something to move but once they figure out that they can put that nose on the ground and then actually keep up with what they're wanting to find it changes everything and it was the third day the last time I put him in this pen to, to train he it really clicked that okay if I put my nose on the ground I can I can find these things a lot easier a lot faster and today he's done nothing but use his nose and I'm very uh, satisfied with that being his only fourth time in the pen. At five months old, he's doing really well. Guys, and, and another thing that I'm noticing, he's starting to get serious about it. With him being just a pup, most of the time, puppies they're excited to see you. Oh, there went the rabbit right there. Puppies are excited to see you. There he goes. Anyway, what I was saying, pups like that, they're excited to see you. They want to be petted. They want to be handled. They want your affection. And right now with him in the pen, he hasn't jumped up on me. He hasn't come over here wanting to play. He's been all business. And uh, that's, really, that's really a good thing for his age. Sight chase. Once again, using that truck bed cover to break up that track to give that rabbit a little bit of a break. And I've, I, I can actually see him. You may not be able to see him on camera, but he's way down there now. So now, dog's got to pick that track back up. And I believe he's found it. Using the truck bed cover again, he just come out right here by my foot. 
comes around. Good job. Once he figures out how to straighten that track out and hit the right direction and stay that way, I'll probably be able to hunt this dog before the season's over with. He's sight chasing one right now. Now that rabbit's too far ahead of him, he's gonna have to use his nose again. And that's what I'm looking for. As soon as you can't see that rabbit no more, put your nose on the ground and try to work that out. And that's exactly what he's doing. I can see the rabbit going right down through there. He's on that same, he's on the same track. There you go, that's a good job. Rabbit switched directions on him. Now he's got to try to figure it out again. He's unsure of himself, he's gonna go back. And that rabbit. He come right down in here and laid down. He's just sitting right here. He just got to figure out he didn't go straight down the fence line. He actually turned and came down through the woods. There he is right there. He was even closer than I thought. He was sitting still and I couldn't see him. See, with him working out there, this now would be a good time uh, to work on a recall. A recall is when you call your dog and he comes back to you without you having to shock him or anything like that, and that's what I want. I want him to respond to me even when he's on that. So with this rabbit being as close as he is right now, I need to recall him to me. That way he gets used to me calling him and then there being a reward when he comes back. Jack, come here. Yeah, Jack, yeah, yeah, Jack, yeah, yeah, Jack, yeah. Good boy. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. All right. Find him. Find him. Find him. walk right here come here and find him here find him here because this is how I put my older dogs in the bushes where I want them I take I go stand and then I tell them to find them in these bushes and then they go in and find them and that's exactly what he's doing right here rabbit sitting right there and he just took off he smells him he just don't know where he's sitting at find him find him find him there it is once again his age is showing five months old, four days in the pen. After about another week of training, that should straighten out and he should be running nicely. But once again, that rabbit's using that truck bed cover to break up that track. Give him a break. 
That's going to come in handy when that dog gets a little bit more experience and a little bit better at following the track. It's going to keep that rabbit from getting worn out and getting caught. See, now he's going to go up under it and try to follow it. Just a little too big. Rabbit's actually running right through here. The rabbit just come right behind me. He just made a small circle and come right behind me. That's a good track right there. He's following us. He's rabbit up there by that tree. He's going down the fence line over here. if he goes the right way. Oh. There you go. That's a good job, good check. Sight chase, he found him again using his nose, good job. Once again, use the truck bed cover. He doubled back right here. He run right through here. Let's see if he can figure that out. He's in the right area. He's just going a little bit farther than he needs to that direction. We can clean that up with some experience. actually be a lot easier to clean up using an older dog which we'll do that once he starts following a track a lot straighter than what he's doing now that's when we'll take him out out of the pen into the wild with an older dog and let him run some wild rabbits that way He's just sneaking now.
Still using his nose. He's trying to air scent a little bit, but he's taking his nose right back to the ground. It's okay. Give him a few minutes to try to work it out, and then if he can't, it'll be another good chance to work on a recall. Chase, we found it. Another good example. He actually went up under it that time. So many good examples of that truck bed cover really helping keep that rabbit from getting caught and making this dog use his nose, really forcing him to use his nose. And that's what's going to make you a good tracking dog. Real. He almost caught him right there. That rabbit went through under by that chair. Sight chase. So I'm really happy with, you know, how he's been working. I mean, his age, he's young dog. Uh, I mean, he's doing a good job. Plus he's in here by himself. I'm not, when, usually when I go to start my puppies, I start them out a little bit younger than most people. Most people will take them to a, a starting pen at about six to seven months old and they'll just they'll throw them in there with an older dog I like to try to do it four to five months in the smaller pen by themselves to let them try to kind of figure it out I've ended up with a lot of good jump dogs doing it this way and he's already he's got another one going right now and the rabbit's gonna go right up under that uh, truck bed cover so if you've got a pen and you don't already have something in it like the truck bed cover it, it don't have to be a truck bed cover it can be a pile of uh, a wooden uh, crates or something like that just something uh, to break for the rabbit to go up under come out the other side really break up that track keeps them from getting caught and it makes that uh, dog you're training really use his nose to relocate that and then what that simulates in, in the wild is 
when your dogs are running and they lose that track, it, it simulates a check. And that's exactly what he just did. That rabbit just come through the truck bed cover and he worked out as a check around the other side and he jumped it up again and he's sight chasing. And now he's using his nose because he lost the rabbit. See, that's what I like about these pins. I can control the environment. I can train them exactly how I want to train them and get the results that I want to get. Everybody's going to train their puppies a different way. Uh, and every every pup is different. The next pup that I train in here, it may he may not come along as fast as this one. It may, it may take two weeks before he finally starts using his nose. And I've got another puppy bred up just like this one that I've got to start but I'm trying to get him going good first then I'm going to swap put the other puppy in here get him going good and then I'm going to put them in here together but I'm going to do videos on that other dog and then both of them in here together so you'll get to see all that Yeah, as well as he's doing a little bit more experience in a few runs with some older dogs, and I think I'll, I'll, I'll definitely be able to hunt this pup before the end of the season goes out. Okay, so what I'm about to do now is I'm going to get him out of the pen and I'm going to put him up. It's starting to get dark on me and I still got to feed him. He's still in there running. I still got to feed him and the rest of the dogs in my kennel before it gets dark. Uh, I've got him to train or finish training and I've got another puppy bred the same as him, same age and then I got uh, two other pups that are uh, Turbo and Reggie bred, one red tick and one blue tick and, but they're a lot younger so it'll be a little while before they're old enough to put in here so there's going to be more videos to come y'all just stay tuned keep a check like and subscribe and uh, comment on these videos if you want to let me know he almost caught it I heard that rabbit squeal yeah comment on the videos let me know what you think uh, if there's any type of videos that you want me to actually make let me know uh, I like to actually get in here. I know there's a lot of guys that make videos on training puppies, but they're just standing in front of the camera telling you what to do or telling you how they do it. That's why I like to actually get in the pen with them while they're uh, actually training and uh, video it so you can actually see it while it's happening. But until next time, I'll see y'all later.